Well, let's move on and watch a home video sent in by Sharita in Richmond, Virginia. I sometimes get really bad pressure headaches, which cause me to be dizzy. I also get a burning, itching sensation in my nose, like I'm gonna sneeze, and irritation to my throat. Everything that I've tried doesn't really help. What should my next step be? Gentlemen. And again, this is a little bit of a different scenario. Today's show, we're talking all about things that burn, and the fact that she's having this burning in, in her nose makes you think that she has some sort, sort of chronic ongoing problem that may be structural. In other words, something's going on. Maybe her, her sinuses are chronically inflamed. Maybe her turbinates, which are those filter structures on the side walls of the nasal passages, um, are enlarged. Maybe her septum is deviated because, as you know, that mucosa, that lining of the nose, is so sensitive, and if something's going on with it, very often it presents as burning. Yeah, that's a good point. In fact, on this model here, um, you see what happens to a normal nasal cavity when it gets irritated, and they, get, they have burning, and they have this mucus production. So the burning is, could be allergic, but maybe it's not allergic. So in this particular case, in, in my practice, I work very closely with the ear, nose, and throat doctors. And what I would tell this lady is it's best talk to your primary care doctor, see who they're most comfortable with, whether it be an ENT or an allergist, see them, and then see who they work with. I think this patient would probably benefit from seeing both. At one point, she clearly may have an anatomic abnormality. Who knows? This has been going on for so long, she may have to have sinus surgery. And, and you, you make such a great point in that if you have allergies, and you don't investigate and you don't treat them, they may lead to these problems that may become a surgical problem, the large turbinates, polyps, chronic sinusitis that requires a surgical procedure. And in the end, it's the doctor's responsibility. If you go see an ENT and, it's, and they feel like they should refer you to see an allergy immunologist, they will. The important thing is if you're suffering, get it checked out. Thank you, gentlemen.